There's one thing that I planted in my garden for one purpose and it wasn't for food. And I'm really excited to show you what I found today. I want to show you something I found in the garden this morning. Big swallowtail caterpillar. I love these caterpillars and they turn into the most gorgeous butterflies. Queen Anne's Lace is a host plant for these types of caterpillars. When I was planting our gardens this year, I purposely planted parsley because that's also one of the host plants. Parsley, Queen Anne's Lace, fennel, and dill are some of the plants that these caterpillars like best. So we have a lot of these caterpillars up um, by our front porch, but I'm gonna take this one into the house and we'll keep it inside and hopefully watch it spin a cocoon and metamorphosis into a butterfly. So we drilled our holes into our gallon jar here. We've got three swallowtail caterpillars. So we're really excited. Hopefully they will start uh, spinning their chrysalis soon and we can watch them turn into gorgeous butterflies that we can release out in our gardens. Today we are cleaning out our jar and putting in some new fresh food. We put in some parsley and Queen Anne's lace. We noticed that um, the old stuff is getting kind of moldy so we decided to change it out today. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five caterpillars in here. We just found another one outside and brought it in. But I wanted to show you the difference of the stages that they're in. For each time they shed their skin, it's called an instar. Mm -hmm. The resulting caterpillar stage is an instar. And so we have five different caterpillars in here, and from what I can see, we have three different instars going on. It's really interesting. So here's the oldest ones, and they're all the same. But then we have this, then we have this little one right here, and then we have this tiny one right here. The eye sound. The I found and and the white heel. Yep, you found that, it. That that was little the littlest one last time. Mm -hmm. And that was the mama the well um one of those are the daddies and one of one of those are the grandpas. Look, they're already starting to eat the the other stuff is how it's eating. Yeah. yeah. It's just really interesting to watch um, the different stages that they go through. I originally didn't think that this, these smaller ones were swallowtails because they're just so different, but from reading I learned that there's these different stages that they go through. Um, since they don't have uh, a, an exoskeleton, they have to change 
and molt and as they get bigger they grow out of their skin and so they have to um, shed that so it's really really fun to be watching them right now we're gonna put them back into their habitat here and let them get eating this good new food I will put all of them in Okay. I'll put all of them in. Just put the whole thing in because they're they're attached to it. So just put it. Probably because they didn't make me dog poop. I don't think so. Mom. Oh, there's the little one. Baby. Baby. That one. That one is making a, its thing. That one. Is... I know. All right. So we've got this one that has made its chrysalis. We've got one that's uh, made its chrysalis. And we separated it out, put it in a different jar just so we don't bother it. Um, it's held on by two very teeny tiny silk strings, which I don't know. They must be super strong because that thing was wiggling around yesterday when it was making its chrysalis. Um, from what I've read, it can take weeks or even months for these to come out. So we'll just have to watch and see. And we'll be putting more in here when the other ones start making their chrysalises too. Alright, so I've been making dinner and I just noticed that one of our two um, chrysalises are different colors than the other one. It's kind of brownish yellow, so I don't know if that means that something happened to it and it's not developing right, or maybe it's just a different color um, of butterfly or something. Um, I don't know, maybe they make different color chrysalises, but we'll just keep an eye on it and see. So we have two right now. Um, we did have four, and we gave two to my sister. So, yeah, we just got two left. We've got um, two caterpillars left in here. And they're at different stages, different instars. And we're just waiting for them to turn over. We actually need to get some more food tonight for them. So we'll go out later and do that. Um, but they're doing well. Get water from it. If it wants to. They can suck all the juice out. Yeah. Hey, E. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, can I hold it? Ah. Mom, can I hold ah. it? Just a minute. I think it's ready to take flight. I think it's all dry, yeah. Yeah, it's all. Can I hold it? Will the cucumber? Well, it will fly. What do you think about that? Good. That's pretty neat. Yeah. It's a false butterfly. <laughs> Where's it going? No, oh. no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You want me to take it back? No. <laughs> Maybe Let's it's going it... to go up into your hair. <laughs> you want me to take it off? No. I'm going to go let it go outside now. So we got our first butterfly. That's so exciting. It was just there this morning when we woke up, went to the kitchen to make breakfast. I 
think we're gonna put it in our greenhouse. That'll be the safest place for it, away from the cats. Gosh, this is so beautiful, though. <laughs> it curled up on Jeff's face. It's really pretty. One. cocoon that it hatched out of and it was a bright green like the other one and it just turned as it got ready to come out. That's amazing. It came out of that little tiny hole right there. We're going to go put this on our nature shelf. We've got quite an extensive collection of nature up here. We've got all kinds of eggs and nests. Now we've got our first cocoon. Let's see. Let's put that right up here.